Okay guys, so today we're gonna be reviewing the Hummingbird Hammock Single Plus. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the specs of it. I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. I'm gonna be doing a test with it, with a camping pillow, my Thermarest sleeping pad, my wide sleeping pad, and just show you guys how, it would go, how you would go about camping inside of it. So you guys can see whether this is the hammock you guys would want or not. So first off, we're gonna get into the specs. <clears throat> so the specs of this, weighs 7.6 ounces. Now the total weight of the tree strap extensions are 0.75 ounces. The weight rating of it is 350 pounds. Total length of it is 9.5 feet. The total width, five and a quarter feet. And the price point of this hammock is 75 US dollars or 100 Canadian dollars. Now this is the single plus. They also sell the single but I'd recommend the single plus because this gives you an additional 12 inches in length and 14 inches in width. That'll give you enough room to have maybe a second person. You're not gonna be sleeping in this with a second person, but sitting down with a second person or just having a sleeping pad inside of it, it'll give you that additional room you want to stretch out. Now the material of this hammock is uncoated ripstop nylon and it holds 50 pounds per square inch of tensile strength. Now instead of having the additional weight of a carabiner, instead they use button links. Okay, so first what you wanna do, what I like to do anyway, I just throw one tree strap to the one tree I'm going to and then uh, set, up the, set up the one on this side. So just wanna open up the loop, wrap it around the tree, get it about six feet tall, six feet high. Pull it through that loop. <clears throat> Pull it off to the side and then cinch it. You gotta make sure it cinches so then it's tight. Cause if it's like this, you, it's not as tight. So if you pull it off to the side, cinch it there, it'll be good. But I like to just get both the tree straps on the tree and then set the hammock up real quick. Um, that's just my process. You guys could do it obviously however you want, but set it and then you want to cinch it. Make sure that tightens. So if I would have had it in my pocket, the hammock in my pocket or whatever, could have had it set up pretty quick. But anyway, so you grab it, grab the hammock, pull the button loop through. Okay, it's that easy guys. So then just grab onto the other button link, walk it out, and then it'll just unfold itself. <clears throat> grab this end, do the same thing. Now say if there's a lot of tension on this and it's quite tight for whatever reason, rather than loop it. So what you wanna do, all you do, you just pull this button link down and then you loop it. Cause sometimes it's, uh, sometimes it's windy, so it's continuously just, you know, blowing in the wind and it's getting pretty, it gets pretty hard to, you know, pull the two and link it. So all you do, just do a little bit of a pulley lever system right there, hook it through and it's good. And all you want to do is set your, uh, set the desired height you want. So you just pull on that, or if you want to loosen it, you just take this button, push it forward, and pull. And then once you let go, it tightens. It's good, it's solid. Pull it. Yeah, you guys can see that the hammock, it's, it's gonna be pretty tight It's right now. So two things you could do if your hammock is too tight, add some height to it. That'll turn it more into a banana kind of shape. Or if you had the tree strap extensions, you guys would just use one extension. And that's what I always do. Most of the time I always use a tree, one tree strap extension just to get out uh, to the perfect height. Okay, so real quickly, we're gonna pull out the Nemo sleeping pad. I'm gonna set it up, put it in there. This is the wide, this is the wide one. So we're gonna set this up and get it inside that hammock. So we got the Nemo Ultra Light Pad. So we're gonna be putting it inside here. First, you know, just open it up a bit. 
seat it in there. That's how that goes. Now we're getting our Thermarest pillow. Now this is the best pillow. This is so close to a, this is the closest you could get to a real pillow. You know, sometimes I sacrifice weight for luxury. This keeps your head warm, feels real. You know, sometimes like I, I honestly just want to get these instead of using a pillow in my actual house. Anyway, definitely recommend this Thermarest pillow. Might as well just set up everything. So I also got my One Tigress sleeping quilt. So we're gonna pull that out. Down in the hammock. And then we just reach at our sides and we wrap it around ourselves. This would be a realistic example of the hammock. So I got my quilt, sits around it nicely. Got the wide sleeping pad. This setup is so comfortable. If you guys would like to see a full in-depth review of like my tarp and all that kind of stuff, just like a full camping setup, you know, I could definitely make a video on that. So here's a quick walkthrough of what we got going on. We got our quilt. When we sit down, this will wrap around us. Got our Nemo regular wide pad. We got our Thermarest pillow. I'll link everything in the description. I recommend everything I use. I, I wouldn't link it if I don't believe in it, guys. So let's talk about the pros and the cons. We're gonna be starting with the pros. Now the first pro is that this is ultra lightweight. I really couldn't find anything lighter than this. Um, it's just the best hammock I could find, the most simple. I don't want all these gadgets and all these additional covers and all that kind of stuff on top of the hammock. So this is definitely the best bang for the buck and the lightest, lightest hammock. So I have had the hammock completely soaked, you know, left it out in the sun for like, you know, an hour or two. Um, you know, come back, it's already dry. If you guys were using like a winter one, something that was much thicker than this hammock, then it would definitely take longer. I haven't had like dry out tests or anything like that, but I just, I know, you know, this does dry super fast. Yeah, and this material is super strong. I've probably slept in this thing, yeah, about like 12 times or so. Um, I've had another person come with me and we've both used our hammocks. We have never had an issue with them. Before I used to be very, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get something this lightweight and uh, very thin material just cause I'd be scared and hesitant on it um, breaking on me on a trip. But no, I, I'm completely confident in this hammock. You know, I would take this on long trips, but of course there has been instances where, you know, your hammock, people's hammocks have breaking and, you know, got a hole in them and then they just fall right through. That happens with everything, but in my experience, I haven't had any issues. And then one additional thing is it's fast to set up. Fast adjustments on the uh, button links, you know, on the whoopee sling, just pull it, tighten it, loosen it right easy, you know, put the button links through. You don't need no carabiners. You don't need a you know, keep on looping it through additional holes to change the height on it. You know, it's very simple. Now let's get into the cons of this hammock. Now definitely a con to this, and there is one way you can fix it, is it is slightly see-through. Now, <clears throat> you know, if you're at the beach or something, you're in your bathing suit, people really will see they'll see right through it. So if you're completely naked or something, they're gonna, they're gonna see through it. You know, they're gonna be able to see what clothing you have on or what clothing you don't have on. Now a way to somewhat fix that is just get darker colors. Right now I got the blue, you know, they do have a dark green and that would probably be the least see-through color. Now I'll say this, I wouldn't recommend this in the winter time. Now I wouldn't recommend this in the winter time due to it being so thin, there's not really any of a shield from the wind. Now using the straps and hooking up the hammock is extremely hard in the winter time. Your hands are freezing, the material is very hard to work with and you're trying to just, you know, put the button link through the loop and it's very hard. So then your hands are getting freezing cold. So I wouldn't recommend this in the winter time because of that. Say if you were using a carabiner, you just hooked a, a carabiner. Yes, these straps would be awesome in the winter time, but if you're just using them as they are, I wouldn't recommend them. Now what made it easy to dry out also makes it easy to get wet. So because this material is so thin, you know, I'll wake up in the morning, the morning dew um, will make the hammock wet. Now that's not really a problem for me because I use a sleeping pad, but that may be something you wanna consider. 
Now the final con of this hammock is how hard it is to pack up into its little carrying case. Now it's not super hard, but they could have made the little pouch just like slightly bigger, about half an inch bigger, and it would be just a perfect fit. Like it is a perfect fit, but I wish there were a bit more room to work with. Let's get a quick takedown of this. So it's good, you know, you pull it up if there's tension and then you can easily pull that through and unlock it. Bam. So what I like to do, do a little fold in half so then the button links are face out so then we can uh, deploy it quite fast. Just tuck it inside of itself. Just hold it and then push, push with your thumbs. I'd like these pouches to have a little bit more room just because when you get to the end, you gotta really force it in. And now all we do, just unhook this one. And then we just grab these tree straps, take them down, and I like to fold them up. I don't like folding them up together, I like folding them up individually. And definitely when you're packing it in its um, pouch, when you're packing it in its pouch, you wanna put them in there together, not separately. It just makes it easier for the, them to go inside of the pouch. And I do also have my tree strap extensions in here. So there is a little bit more, less room, but um, no, everything fits perfect in this. That's how fast you guys can take this thing down. So yeah, guys, that was the Hummingbird Hammock Single Plus review. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Any things I could have added. Maybe ask me a couple of questions in the comments that you would like to know. I will respond. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video. Share this with someone who, you know, likes ultralight gear, who likes hammocking, you know, maybe someone who likes to go out in the park and read their books. This would definitely be something for them. You know, this would be a great gift. If they're into ultralight gear, they will love this hammock. You know, I love it. Anyone I've shown, they love it. You know, it's definitely the best hammock I could find and it's a pretty decent price. Anyways, guys, I wanna thank you guys for watching. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.